Wednesday, April 16th, 1746. This is the advance battalion of an English government army of 9,000 men. Their objective, Culloden Moor, four and a half miles southeast of the highland town of Inverness. Their purpose, the destruction of the highland Jacobite army of rebellion, a tired, ill-administered force of less than 5,000 men who wait just beyond the top of this ridge. Sir Thomas Sheridan, Jacobite military secretary, suffering advanced debility and loss of memory. Former military engagement, 56 years ago. Sir John MacDonald, Jacobite captain of cavalry, aged, frequently intoxicated, described as a man of the most limited capacities. John William O'Sullivan, Jacobite quartermaster general, described as an Irishman whose vanity is superseded only by his lack of wisdom. Prince Charles Edward Stuart, Jacobite commander-in-chief, former military experience, 10 days attendance at a siege at the age of 13. You must understand, without putting too fine a point on it, that the army here is in a total shambles. I've got half my company missing. I just can't find them. They've gone off somewhere to sleep. Your Royal Highness, why exactly are Mr. Sheridan, Sir John MacDonald, and Mr. O'Sullivan handling the administration of your army? Because I chose them. Because I consider those gentlemen to be utterly trustworthy and competent. The first thing my men will find when they do awake is the enemy on them, cutting their throats. 